you know the the last vlog entry worked out pretty good i kind of liked what i saw with the gopro and uh, making the video here in the car and uh you know i'm just hanging out today i got a huge day of exercise yesterday i'm pretty sore after uh, the new dumbbell um so I'll maybe I'll show you that towards the end of the video but I bought a bought a dumbbell set and so when I get out I'm doing that number with it uh, just wanted to talk about things just real quick um, I, and and I just I just can't believe the lies I mean Southwest Airlines uh, they had to ground <laughs> 1,000 flights Hmm, because of the weather. Yeah, the weather is real bad. We got hurricanes blowing in from everywhere right now. And uh, um, I mean, it's just it's just been huge. Uh, probably a cyclone, you know, that not even exist on this side of the planet, but it must have blown in and grounded all those flights. <laughs> no, people. The uh, the jab mandates are, uh, they're, uh, they're coming down. And, and by the way, you recall when uh, that authoritarian uh, guy that you people elected uh, said he would never do vax mandates? Hmm, wonder what's up with that. And why, why are so many people uh, fighting against that? Well, guess what, people? It's about individual freedom. And uh, luckily, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm married to a Democrat. And uh, she's all for it, man. Vax mandates. Everybody should get vaccinated. Everybody should get vaccinated. And I'm just like, well, honey, don't you think that's an individual decision between you and your doctor? You know, I, I just don't see how the government should be involved in that uh, or, or a corporation. And I think Southwest Airlines is feeling the pain right now. And uh, so, you know, it's uh, we'll see where all that goes. Um, care of and so right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm backing up all my videos um, because I expect YouTube's gonna take me down at some point I'm I'm okay I'm so far buried down in their algorithm I mean you know it's uh it's ridiculous but at least I'm, I'm able to post right now and so I'm, I'm putting everything back up on uh, on uh, rumble so let's get back into it uh, let's talk about the trip just a little bit uh, so I did spray the um, uh, water repellent onto the uh, hikers. So I got another pair of hikers that I got to find and uh, and it's packed in the house and I'm going to be putting the spray on there. I ordered, uh, got a big shipment coming tomorrow, man. I ordered two more bottles of the, uh, um, I guess, Frontiersman. Frontiersman Bear Spray. Uh, way back when I did a bunch of research on this. Uh, have I tested it? No, I don't know. I don't know if it's any better than anything else, but uh, from my research back then, I recall that it was better. I wanted to show you. Oh, I had no blue. I'm sorry. Ah. This is this is the dumbbell I was carrying around yesterday, and uh, you know these. It, it's okay. I mean, I hate these cheap uh, uh, plastic things. You actually had to put these on the weights, and uh, it's a it's a like a 48 pound or a 52 pound set. Um, but this is adequate, man. I mean, when you're carrying this around for five miles, I mean, it, it wears you out, especially when you're 58 years old and an old fart like me. And, uh, and then I wanted to show you, this is, uh, I bought the, uh, Seagram Walkman. And these are all things I'm taking on the trip. So I'm just kind of showing you a couple things here. This is, this is the CC Pocket. And, uh, they haven't upgraded this for a while. And, uh... You know, I'm surprised, but I understand. I mean, this thing is awesome, and I like it better than the than the Seagram or however you pronounce that, um, the the yellow Walkman that I had. Uh, I think this one works a little bit better. Don't know. It does chew the batteries up a little quicker, I think, um, but that's okay. You know, I got rechargeable batteries, so it's uh, it can chew up the batteries. So, um, so that's it. I just wanted to make a brief uh, talking video and. Uh, have me and the dog and uh, just tell you, I mean, you know, we're getting pretty close. I'll probably get up on the roof today and uh, blow out the gutters and uh, and then tomorrow the big shipment comes. We're going to have the external mics and everything going. So that's it. But I did want to just talk about these vaccine mandates. Bad idea. You know, anytime you want people to um, adhere to any sort of policy, all you got to do is give them the facts and, and they'll make the right decision. 
You don't need to force it on people. This is totalitarianism. That's not necessary, people. Peace out. Let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida under the governance of DeSantis. So I wanted to tack this on to the end of the video. Making this with the phone, the first video is with the GoPro. Maybe you can hear or see the difference. But uh, I mean, I just want you to understand what's going on. You know, the globalists are in control. That that idiot Biden that's on the throne, he's just a puppet, man. He's His strings are being pulled. And uh, I'm sure they told him, well, you're going to sell your soul to the devil. And, uh, you know, we don't give a crap. You know, you're going to be the, uh, the, the, we are your puppet masters. And uh, you're going to do what we say. And that's what he's doing. And so basically what they're trying to do, and we're, Unfortunately, we're helping them along, but we have to, and I don't know how else to fight back. Um, but uh, they want to destroy the United States. They have to take down the last best hope of mankind, the last free place on earth, and they have to destroy it. That's why these vax mandates have come down. But you know what? I mean, it could be a good thing. I just wanted to say that uh, could be a good thing. I think the unions are uniting with the patriots. And when I say that, you know, you got the Democratic unions uniting with the uh, Republican uh, Proud Boys and uh, the patriots and uh, and everybody's fighting back. And, uh, and that's all you can do. Whether or not we'll be successful, I don't know. Um, there's still about, you know, I'd say about, uh, you probably got about 40, 40, three members of the Senate uh, fighting for the United States and maybe, uh, well, in the House. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, there's a lot of rhinos in there. Um, can we turn this ship around? I don't know, man. But all we can do is go on strike. The unions are striking. Everybody's striking. But, you know, unfortunately, we're helping the globalists along with their agenda to destroy the United States. And that's what they want. You know, you think these mandates came out of Biden's mouth? Nah. He had nothing to do with it. He's just following orders, people. That's it for this video. Peace out.